Estopolis Densetsu. That sounds promising. Let's play that one. Oh man, <laughs> I could not have been more correct. <laughs> this is amazing. On March 11th of 2002, Estopolis Densetsu Jap. Press start. There's, there's, there's a triangle with a swoosh in a ball called Taito. Taito Corporation. This, this is amazing. This is all I could ever have dreamed. This is all I could have ever wished for. Press start. Okay. Um, Daisetsu doichi watashi wa itadakimasu desu kono ichi ya. I'm gonna pick one. Yes. Eyeballs? Oh, <laughs> I thought this was Japanese, but it's alien writing. It looks like alien writing is universally alien writing and not Japanese. It's interesting. Okay, we got a black screen of death. I'm afraid of those. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Good morning, everyone. Would you like to see an unnecessarily long cutscene about... <laughs> Containing the exposition of the story. Yes? Well, great. Why don't you follow me? Hey, don't go yet. Mom says you couldn't leave. Well, I don't care. I'm going to talk to this guy. Hey, there's a guy with a hat with metal that goes around the edges and over the top. He must be a warrior. Let's talk to him. He might have some jutsus. Oh, no, nothing. Uh, you're just going to leave me to be sad and depressed over here? Ah, continuation of the cutscene and a camera pan. Looks like we're gonna have to go to the church soon. Excellent. We've got Shakespeare on the right and William Randolph Hearst on the left. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I don't even know if he looks similar to that. He looks kind of, he looks like, he looks like, what's his name? Sterling. Donald Sterling. He looks like Sterling. F no. I don't remember. He looks like the guy with white hair from, from... Madman, that's what he looks like, but I'm still heartbroken, you guys. Oh. So that was a flashback. Now everything is colorful. To indicate that it was in the past tense, they had turned all the color to black and white. That's supposed to be a bird, <laughs> I bet. But it sounded like a Star Wars blast. I'm so strong, I wake up my brother by literally shaking the entire house with my foot. That is a powerful main character. I, did I touch? Did I touch stuff? Do I get to touch? I, there was a little hand. I saw a little hand come down. Maybe I just imagined that because it's late. Okay, I gained something. Uh, it's red. That means it's important. Now, I'm going to quickly type into Google Translate. What, what the hell does that mean? Okay, I got shoes. That's nice. Let me go quickly go back to Audacity before I fucking lose all my progress. Oh, he just kicked my ass. He looks just like a Super Saiyan. Trunks, to be uh, precise. And I look like little Gohan but with brown hair. Who has brown hair that's a Super Saiyan? And it's closer to Goten. I don't know anyone with brown hair that's a Super Saiyan. But this guy looks somewhere between Gohan and Piccolo. Not my guy. The, the, the blonde. And look at mommy with the red hair. She's just all upset. My little boys are growing up. Just like every other RPG ever invented. Way to branch out, you guys. Way to... Good job, Taito. Good stuff. They have the usual sound for text scrolling. Just random. <laughs> Useless. Ah, you know what I found? I found that when you play video games... I, I, I guess this is obvious, but I found that when you're playing video games, you split your attention. You... You end up relying on certain patterns of speech that you've developed from wherever, but you, you fall back onto those. And what happens is you end up getting the same sort of repetitious uh, sentences, phrases, and again, patterns that you've used before. I found that in this recording that I did of Relic Hunters today, I just kept saying, that's useless. I kept saying, that's this is use that's useless. Oh, this can't do anything. That's Oh, I get to make choices. No. No, you won't help me. But you have to help me. Are you sure you don't want to help me? Oh. Wait, is this an RPG where where my actions actually have consequences? That's amazing. OK, 
because the other day I was playing, I was playing, it was like sunlight, moonshine or something like that. And literally at every opportunity where you were given a, a chance to say no, the players would just repeat what they had said before. It's one of those times where you're like, do you want to help me catch this dog? No. But he'll run away and you like me and we're friends. I'm sure you don't actually mean that. Do you want to help me find this dog? No. But I like you and you like me and we're friends and it'll run out and lose it forever. Are you sure you don't want to help me find my dog? No. Oh, it's just it's that kind of loop always. But yeah, it doesn't seem that that is present. It's not, it's not a present theme in this game. And that, that, that surprises me. I feel good about that. We're getting in line for the... Uh, for, for, for the, I don't, I don't even know, but look, I was right, see the guy, the guy has a, a band that goes around his helmet and through the middle, that means he's a warrior, or maybe a priest, because we are in a church, weird, you know, I bet that the guy in the black cloak with the cross, with the cross on his, you wouldn't see that in, a, in an American version, but yeah, with the cross on his head, I bet he's the bad guy of the game, because he's in black, and they always put people in black clothes that are evil <laughs> excuse me this is uh this is this is going well I'm, I'm glad that I did the second recording and didn't just give up on it man I was so upset when that happened I, I would just like to play the game already actually I was gonna say we're getting in line for the junior exams because now uh, Naruto Uzumaki you have become a uh, tuning. You can now pick. Oh, was I a girl? Was was I'm gonna pick the one with it? No. Nope. Hmm. This one has two smiley faces in it. One smiley face or two smiley face? Wait, what the fuck? Do I get to pick my name? Hmm. Oh, I get to pick my name. Okay. Smiley face. Uh, where's fish? There's usually fish. In the last game I played, there was fish. There was, there was mountain also. Okay, so I got smiley face. Um, uh, 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 god damn it. It was one of these. That was fish. Fish looked different in the other game. Okay, so smiley face. Backward C. The letter kuf in Hebrew, which is a K in English. Um, we got, we got a backwards E for Russian friends and family. And finally, three lines. Can we do more? Fox. Okay. I'm happy with this name. Really? Is that your name? Yeah. Oh, ooh, I get to choose color. I'm gonna be red man's. Oh, we did a little slash. Does he have a different weapon? No. Same. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be Slash Man. Because Slash is my favorite. Now I look like a red man's. They keep telling me important information that I, I'm just not gonna get in that red up there. So if I hadn't explained this before, which I definitely should have since we're already 10 minutes in, uh, this is Quiet Time Gaming Episode 3. I'm just gonna be playing random SNES or Game Boy Advance games. And just relaxing. Chilling out, relaxing, all cool, shooting some people outside the school when a couple guys go out of the neighborhood and blowing and leaving my and all going away. Because uh, there's this crazy trend on YouTube of being just an insane person in order to get views. And I suppose it makes sense because insanity is entertaining, but there must be some other, like, there must, there, there just gotta, you, sometimes you gotta just be laid back. You gotta just not be on a lot of different amphetamines and 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 uppers all the time because grinding your teeth makes some real oh well <laughs> these enemies are not nearly as adorable as the ones from the other game but the gecko man's is kind of cute look at him he's like he's like a little gecko ass salamander guy blob and caterpillar on the left i don't have a hard time fighting at all Ooh, this one's easier to understand. Why can't I can only attack? I can't run or switch. Okay, I'ma attack. 
I have no other options, just attack. I'm gonna attack Squishy Mans, and Chain Guy is gonna attack Caterpie. Oh no, Tentacool used Tackle. Oh no, Trico used Water Pulse. Oh no, Metapod used Harden, except this Metapod also has Tackle. <laughs> I don't know if that's if. Ooh, Chains Man is cool. My guy doesn't even look like he's holding a sword. He looks like he's holding just a broomstick. I want to see how good he is. If he can actually land a hit. Don't let Chains Man go first. Oh, and Water Pulse again. Knocking three damage off. Yep, no, the broomstick actually. <laughs> pathetic, man. Why is our main character so useless? Why do they do that? Why would they have 2P be stronger than 1P? Is it to get you like... Oh! Oh, man! You can do stuff in the over... Oh, that's neato. What else can I do? I can switch up and use chains. And now it's a Castlevania game. What the fuck? It goes so far. That's awesome. Okay, I'm only gonna play as this player. Because he's so much cooler than our guy. Hit that thing. Hit that thing. Hit that thing. This is sort of like a Secret of Mana. Oh, but he can't break things. Well, then it makes sense to have our slashy mans. Okay. There's a blue guy standing there. I'm sure he has some important information for us. And maybe a special item. And nope, he's just gonna fart on our faces a little bit. And we just fart out some text. Just everyone in this game has a really bad gas. Pepto Bismol has yet to be invented. And there is no mana magic for uh, gastro intestinal problems. It's only a gecko, man. What I don't like about this game is that the creature that you see in the overworld is not representative of the creature that you see when you actually go into the fighting mode. I think that's kind of silly. Not into it. Oh. Uh oh. We gotta level up, guys. We did a little. Look, smiley face backwards, see, coof, easy box. Gotta level up. That's nice. It felt good. Play a little, little happy music with little trumpets in it, and it was very triumphant. I like that a lot. Let's knife this and that. And look at this. Oh my god. There's a secret thing over here. And if you hit it with a chain or something, you... How do I... What do I do? Let's see. <laughs> oh. Jump down? No. Okay. What do you... Go around. That's how we do it. I have to go around and open the door because it's locked first. Gotta find some some sort of key, some some utility that will. Oh, I found a G. Five Gs. That's a lot of money now. Because of inflation, yeah. If you hold on to that for the next 1,300 years, while while technology develops, you'll you'll have a good 40 dollars on your hands if if you find a collector. Otherwise, eBay for like six dollars. Just very slightly over the amount that's actually written on the coin. Except it, it, it was exactly six, so I'm, I'm, I'm off here. But that's because I'm playing a video game. Like, that's what I was saying before. It's so hard to play a video game and be smart at the same time. Smartness is, is a quality that I really value in, in YouTube content. So it's like, wow, am I even making content that I would watch? What the? F this is a real mind fuck, man. So we're gonna go to the right. And we found a chest. Can I punch boxes? Can't punch boxes. This is just like a Zelda. Where it shows me that it's gonna be a fucking cock tease and be like, hey, look at me. I look really great, don't I? They framed me with frilly green stuff to make me stand out more against the background. Don't you wanna open me up? Yes, I do. Mmm, can't open it. Okay, well, we have to go around the other way and see if we can find a different entrance. Maybe you're just supposed to walk up it. Nope. Just stay away from bad things. Can I go here? Can I go here? No. Can I go here? No. So we've got to go further to the right in this room. Yeah. Down and then to the right. Mother fuck! I don't want to keep fighting people. What's weird? <laughs> what's weird about RPGs is when you start playing, you don't want to fight anybody. Or rather, when you start playing, all you want to do is actually get to the game and start fighting things. 
but then once you start with the fights, you're like, oh wow, this is much less exciting than I thought it would be. I don't want to fight anymore, I just want to stay in the overworld. I just want to stay... Oh, did my... Did the guy on the left faint? Is he dead? Wow. This is the worst protagonist I've ever seen. Was I supposed to be healing him or whatever? They wouldn't let me do anything else. See, I didn't have any other options. See, I, when I do the glitches out, it doesn't let me do anything. All I can do is punch. I don't even have an inventory yet. They didn't even give me the inventory bag yet. Literally nothing I could do. He's dead. Terrible. Useless. That was a word I was using too much. Whew. Let me fight Mr. Gecko Man and Mr. Caterpillar. The other game I was playing. Should have seen that shit, man. That was some shit. That was... Excuse me. That was... Oh, okay. I killed him. I got 14 exp. I got 14 exp. And can I go in? Nope, I have to find this. Maybe I have to kill all of them first. Okay, I get it. I get you, game. Fuck. I just want to land one hit on these guys. Outside of this little uh, turn-based thing. Maybe I should play Chrono Trigger instead. Maybe that'll be more to my liking. All I'm going to do is bitch about this game. I think I'm going to play a different game. Going back to settings. Ugh, something I can just relax and play. Let's play fucking an American title. Star Wars Jedi Power Battles for Europe. I think I will enjoy that. Okay, let's see if we can have some fun with this one. Made by THQ, creators of every fucking game hot gen studios they don't exist anymore maybe that's an indication of this game being poopy <laughs> look at that oh man i think that's as epic it's so sincere that's what i really like about it i think they were actually going for epicness in this title they didn't get it because now it's just hilarious, but, man. Because <laughs> it just comes at you full blast with like 50 people singing at the top of the... That's great. Okay, why don't we just play the game? Let's have a new game. Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn, Mace Windows. I'm gonna be Qui-Gon Jinn. Trade Federation Battleship. Trade Federation Battleship, fight your way through the Trade Federation droid, control ship, defeat the droids, we'll oppose you. Okay, I'm oh, just about to do that shit already. Isometric! Isometric! This ain't, this ain't my game, friends. And you just tear them to pieces. Very, okay, I like that. I wanna press the thing. I wanna press the thing. You can jump, that's neat. R does a blocky block, L does, L does a thing. A and uh, X do nothing because this is a thing. Oh. Okay. Can I? Can I do? Select does nothing. Okay. Well, well, we'll just try to progress further and stop messing with the background. And we go for a slice and a dice. Nice. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. All I did was poke him. Can I pick that up? Can I pick it? Can I pick it up? Nope. Uh, nothing back. Wait, what? Nope. He's just holding his lightsaber. Wait, nothing back there. Okay. Continue further down the hallway. And murder these guys. Block. If I just stand still, does it hit me? Oh, it just bounces off. Wow. So, it just seems like... The bad guys are programmed to only hit my lightsaber. What have I got now? Have I got better lightsaber skills now? Do I unlock something? What am I supposed to do? I went that way. Oh, there's a door. Right. How could I have been so silly to have missed the door? Slice you up. Slice you up with 
Got some crazy auto aim on this thing. Very, very. Got some maybe maybe some some texture problems going on. Just just a little bit. Slice you guys up. Head to the top floor. Let's see. Nothing going here. I think I'm just gonna beat this first level and then uh, and then we'll say goodbye for this episode. Okay, you're cut in half just like the rest of your folks. What's, what's even the point of having these guys around? I know this has been said a million times, especially when talking about the actual movies, but they seem to never hit anything at all. Unless you're aiming at a huge structure like maybe a ship. There's no point in even having them around. They're, they're a hindrance, if anything. So, slice you and slice you while I'm on this moving platform. I'm gonna run backwards. Maybe I should have gone over there. Yep, got over there. I found a secret thing. Doesn't let me. I got double jumps? Maybe. That's hidden for a good reason. Anything else over here? Nope. Okay, going back. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can make some progress past this first level. I like the music, it's actually pretty epic. Surprising. Oh, and I got kicked in the face. <laughs> and look how much damage came off my guy. The smallest sliver. And I fall into my death. So I can I immediately see where this game is gonna bring in some level of difficulty is in traversing this shitty isometric playing field. The green guy doesn't even end. As soon as I die, they give me a one mance. That's nice. So, ouch. Jump over and head you. Yeah. And I've fallen off again. Do I start from the beginning? Excellent. That's all I've ever wanted was a one night stand. All I've ever wanted was a moment like this. Oh, I almost died and I fucking... Holy shit, that was scary. Oh, 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 fucking... Oh, no. I've got one life left. This game is finally getting difficult and I love it. I completely changed my mind about this game in 30 seconds. It shows how fickle I am. But it's okay. It's a game for the Game Boy Advance. It's supposed to just take it at face value. Hey, look, we made it. And there's more. These are platforms, obviously. Oh, motherfucker! And I've died. I've got one life left. Shoot me again, motherfucker. Shoot me again, I dare you. Shoot me again, see what happens. That's strange. Oh, I hit him back. I hit it back to him. Man, that was Pimp. Do you guys remember a time where, where Pimp was something people said frequently? I'm a fucking Pimp. I remember. I remember 7th grade. And I knife you. No, 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 no! Well, I'm on a zero life now. How do you do? I fell behind it, and I fell through. <laughs> Game over, and it just flashes Darth Maul's face. Because he was the one that brought me to my death after I clipped through the moving platform that's only there for aesthetic effect. Okay, that's enough. That's enough quiet time gaming for now. Let's go on. I don't want to download the new version of iTunes, no thanks. Okay, so again, like I say in every video, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more of this, I'm putting all of the quiet time gamings in one playlist and what else did i want to say check out other small gaming channels channel absolute zero is pretty good let's see let me let me in my last episode i gave some shout outs to people so why don't we dedicate the end of this video to shout outs let's do some shout outs all right miro plays miro plays is a pretty solid channel 
I clicked on Miro Plays and it took me somewhere else. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> okay. Miro Plays, at this point in time, Miro Plays News videos is Layers of Fear. I haven't watched it, but I did watch his uh, story time and, uh, and Jeet Stronghold Mad Max Part 4. This pretty solid videos. He's a Nordic guy, I think. He's blonde, blue eyes, has some sort of Nordic or German accent that I think is awesome. I always love those things. So yeah, check him out for sure. Next on the list, I'm going to put Thousand Pound Pig. As of late, Thousand Pound Pig has been making Mad Max videos. And uh, some smite some smite videos mostly smite and mad max yeah and receiver next on the list i've given this guy a bajillion shout outs i always uh neglect the person that he had done this or he has uh collaborated with in this video made this mega man video that just blows my mind not one video a series of mega man videos beating mega man x3 i believe yeah, channel absolute zero. Love this guy's channel. Love everything he does, except for the scary games. I don't, I don't like scary games in general, so that's why I don't like that. But yeah, next on the list is uh, Georific. Georific is uh, a friend of mine. So far, he hasn't posted anything with commentary in it. I hope to see that soon. But if if you want to see some beta footage of Black Ops, that's where you got to go. Very high quality, good stuff. Next on the list. Sugar Wolf, I like Sugar Wolf. Cheru, I like Cheru. Happy Lion, Happy Lion is another guy with a German accent. When he when he plays scary video games, instead of screaming, he whispers and stuff. And it's, it's a different style he's got. It's just, I feel like it, it's some sort of European style. It's, just, it's a little it's a little funky. It's different. I, I, I like Happy Lion. Happy Lion's good. What else? I believe. Ah, last one. Punk Hippie 1971. And this is the point in the last video where I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna deeply I'm gonna deeply One second, I need to send him a comment. No, it's just my PayPal. Man. Don't trip. Don't worry, Punk Hippie 1971. We'll find a way to collaborate in another way. You know, we're in different time zones in different countries and we've got different uh, CPU capacities and, 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 and all that bad stuff. But it's cool. We'll find a way to make it work. So yeah, Punk Hippie 1971. And this is, a this is a point where I apologize for being a fucking fraud. What I do on YouTube is a little sneaky. It's what everyone does, I think, but it's a little fucking sneaky. What I do is I just go to small YouTube channels that I that I find on uh, on Reddit or just by searching small YouTube channel on YouTube and I comment the fuck out of their videos. I, I just I try to put on the best show that I can in one comment. The best I try to entertain them in one comment and see what happens. Mostly because I want them to come check out my channel because I'm a fucking scum like that. Not because I actually enjoy their channel. Because I'm a fucking scum like that. Because I want them to come see what I've been doing. Hey, look at me. I'm on the internet too. It's sad. It's sad and a little bit gross. And I'm not... The even sadder thing is I'm not, I'm not gonna stop doing it. I'm gonna... You've gotta persist. I think... Keep doing that. Try to be as genuine as possible. And that's the way to actually grow the channel and make a community. It's the first... Like I, I did a previous video on this first feign enthusiasm first pretend like you're actually into it and then as as progress happens as channels grow you will actually become into it because you'll know the people that are running them you'll be have some sort of connection and you'll be you'll be attached in a way yeah so yeah that that's the that's what i wanted to say this is sh my shout outs to everyone <coughs> excuse me my shout outs to everyone yeah I believe that's enough for this video. So again, like I say in every video, please like, comment, please comment, comment, tell me things. I'm lonely. Comment, 
comment and subscribe. Share, favorite, retweet, tweet, follow me on Twitter, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Reddit. I've my my Reddit username is OG Shampoo, which is C H A M P L O O, as a reference to Samurai Shampoo that used to be on the TV and now is only available on the internet because it's one of my favorite uh, animes of all time. So yeah, thank you very much for watching my channel. Really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next Quiet Time Gaming.